Yo, how's it going? Welcome to another video. We're going to talk today about SPR, stack to pot ratio, and how you can activate it on Jurogen, but also, most importantly, why it works and why you need to include it in your game. Let me explain to you what effective stack means. So you have a few stacks at this table. You can see the low jack is 21 blinds, the cutoff has 125, and the small blind has 24.5. Well, 25 with the small blind, that's already down there, but it has 75 and so on. Effective stack is the stack that's being played for. If you have 30 blinds and your opponent has 60 blinds, you cannot play for 60 blinds. You're only playing for the money that's in front of you, whichever of you two has the smallest stack. So for example, if the cutoff were playing the hijack, the effective stack would be, you guessed it, 11 blinds. If the low jack were playing the hijack, the lowest stack or the effective stack would be, you guessed it, 11 blinds. But now if cutoff and button we're playing, the effective stack would be 75, right? And if the big blind were playing the low jack, the effective stack would be 21 blinds, because big blind has 22. Now, if button were playing cutoff, that's 75. If button were playing cutoff and hijack, then three-way, they'd be playing for a main pot of maximum 11 blinds between the three, and then button would be playing cutoff for an effective stack of 75. Hope you got that. Now, for example, in this particular spot, we have a button open and a big blind call. And it's gone to the flop. You can see the button open for 2.1 blinds and the big blind called. So now that makes the pot 5.7 with Annie. How you calculate stack to pot ratio, which is a metric that you can use sometimes to make decisions in poker, is dividing the effective stack, which is the same here, which is 27.9 blinds, to the pot that is down there, 5.7. Now, if you do that division, that would be 27.9 divided by 5.7, right? So, SPR would be close to 5. Now, don't be afraid of this, because you don't really need to do this division every time in your head. Uh, Jurogen can display SPR, which is stack to pot ratio, on the table all the time. You can activate the stack to pot ratio in Jurogen by going in the overlay options menu, activating stack to pot ratio, and then switching your favorite options on or off. Like, for example, you can display the SPR info or you can turn it down to 0% opacity to not display like anything. I would recommend buffing it in size, and then choosing whatever color you like. There's a few ways you can think about SPR, but mostly the lower it gets, the more committed you are to that pot. And the higher it gets, the more information you can extract from your opponent. So technically, if an SPR is like 2, and you have aces, for example, pre-flop, you get to the flop, SPR is 2, you can kind of never fold no matter what the board is, no matter if the board is something like king, queen, jack, three spades, and you have like aces with like, you know, no spade, because obviously if you'd have a spade, that would be no problem, right? <laughs> uh, and then uh, if you have like a deeper SPR and you have aces and the board comes 8, 7, 6 and like three diamonds, you have no diamond, your opponent like check raises you pretty huge, you can automatically already think about folding but if you if you have like an SPR of two your opponent can mostly check raise you all in which is still a call in my book and in general and in GTO you know also one thing that you have to take into consideration when you have like a low SPR is that backdoor draws lose a lot in value because there's going to be a lot of turns where you're going to hit your draw and then your opponent suddenly goes all in and you can't really call, which uh, is one problem. And the other problem is when you do hit your backdoor draw, um, you kind of can't really get paid. So implied odds really like drop a lot, right? So uh, technically, if you've got like a flush draw and the SPR is like two or three and then you call a bet on the flop and you call a bet on the turn and then you hit your flush, there's not much check raising to do on the river because if your opponent hasn't already gotten all in then he might just bet his whole stack on the river which is not like a lot but if spr is something like 10 you get like bet, bet on the flop bet on the turn then you can check raise the river with the nut flush and get paid like a ton more right um also one one other thing is that top pairs are a lot harder to fold when spr is very very small so when spr is two you know like top pairs are like 
kind of you get to call them one bet on the flop and then on the turn your opponent goes all in it's very very rare that that's a bad spot to call top pair with right so keep that in mind when playing tournaments especially that when you're at like 20 blind stacks and 30 blind stacks and your opponent opens like a cutoff and you call in, in the big blind and you hit top pair never ever fold it but when you have 100 blinds that and your opponent shows like a lot of aggression that might raise a bit of um you know concerns so that's about it for the video thanks for watching and good luck at the tables